Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting doing two episodes, one and two of The Dangers in My Heart. Okay, so I don't really know much about this show. I do know that when I was watching my previous Patreon shows, um, season one was airing and season two is now currently airing with this. So all I know is that it's a cute little romance series and such, and we all know I'm a sucker for that ish, and, you know, eat that ish up. But yeah, I think this is gonna be really cute. I don't know. The girl kind of gives me like, um, Komi san vibes, maybe. I don't know. I've seen like so many pictures on Twitter and such. I have seen her where she's had dark hair, like gorgeous, beautiful. And then there's another picture of her and she has blonde. So I'm guessing I'm not going to see the blonde version of her until like probably season two. I'm not 100% sure on that. But other than that, it's going to get started with episode one in three, two, one, go. Okay. Murder and Psychopedia. Okay. Really? Oh, you want to kill her? Yeah, she definitely looks like Comey right there. Eat first and then talk. <laughs> Why don't you go ask her? Damn, girl. <laughs> It's okay. Mm-hmm. 
Yo, why are you carrying around a box? Very creepy. I mean, I know you want to kill her, but damn. Damn. <laughs> uh Throw him away. <laughs> You're not going to keep those, are you? <laughs> That's so messed up. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, oh no, Yamada!
<laughs> Girl, really? Not here this time? Oh, nope, she's here. Yeah, make the conversation better or something. Yamana. You're so sweet. Yeah, I mean, that's more almost like similar to a curvy girl. <laughs> Damn, girl. Thank you.
Isn't that her? <gasps> she looks so pretty! Yep. Yeah, she's definitely wanting to see if she gets noticed. Love the outfit, though. <laughs> Let's see where she is. I don't think so. Probably just a friend. But you do. Girl. <laughs> you probably just want to get lucky, so sex is on your mind. I mean, does she even have a phone? Nice shoes, though. All three of them. Uh, will you stop forcing her? Damn. Let her go.
you do. Great job. Now you have no bike. That was cute. Oh my god. Like the the reason why he did it was because dude was being hella like aggressive. Note to self boys and, and some girls, because girls are like that too. Don't be aggressive when it comes to someone that you have a crush on. Like Jesus. Like it, it's it, it's not cute. It it really isn't. Don't do that shit. Like, no, that is so like that's a turn off. Don't be an aggressive asshole. And that's exactly what he was. Like, he, you know, bought into the play of, oh, hey, she doesn't know anything about lying and how she communicates with her friends and da-da-da-da. But for him to literally grab her wrist, pull her towards him, like, the fuck is wrong with you? Aggressive. No. Don't be aggressive assholes. We leave that out. We put that, that's in 2023. 2024 is being nice. Be nice. Don't be assholes. Okay. Ishikawa. <laughs> he, he's a little cutie. Um, With these two, they seem like the most unlikely couple. But you can see that slowly but surely they're, like, they're going to become one. And they just look so cute together. They're just, like I said, the one couple that you think you see in a class and you see them together, you'd be like, well, what do they see each other, see in each other? And we're seeing that with them. They look really cute together, though. I mean, Yamada just looks like she's going to tease him for the rest of the dang series and such. But they are freaking adorable together. Like, oh, my God. I, I love the height difference. I mean, I'm a sucker for that as someone who is a tall girl and such and who did have, like, my <laughs> my boyfriend was short. He had, he had to be, if my mom's 5'2", my boyfriend maybe was about 5'5". Five five. And we had a conversation about it one day. And I was like, you know, you're so then you're like to my boobs. And he's like, oh, uh, I'm okay with that. And I just, I made a face and I was like, oh, I know you would be. Duh. But like short guys are good. I, and there's nothing wrong with dating a short guy. Like you, you never know what could happen and stuff. So potentially if I really wanted to date another short guy, I definitely would. Um, but no, they're really, really cute. I, I'm honestly ready to see, like, the hugs and the little embraces that these two are going to do with each other. But the fact that he wants to kill her, and your murder is tendency, bro, like, I need backstory on that. Like, what made you go like that? I, I mean, I ain't mad at it. You know, I like the fact that he likes horror and stuff, so I'm gonna have another character, like, to relate to and such. But... Yeah, I, I also love the fact that Yamada is a model. It does give me feels to, like, Marine from Dress Up Darling and a couple other characters and such. So I do hope we do get an episode where, like, let's say, you know, they're hanging out and she's got to go do a photo shoot. And then, boom, he's there watching her, you know, being, you know, 
supportive, like a supportive friend or boyfriend would, which is really sweet because it's something that she does. But of course, we won't know until then. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode two. Alrighty, episode two and three, two, one. You go to the bathroom or a water fountain. She had to go pretty far. Oh, there she is. Right? I mean, that would be the smart thing to do.
<laughs> oh my god. There you go, everybody takes turns. <laughs> She's so silly. Yeah, basically, because that's kind of what she is. She has boyfriend vibes. I mean, she got a stomach. Like, girl is always uh, effing hungry. I mean, I ain't mad at her, though. I mean, I haven't eaten since. I've been eating since last night, and so I'm probably about to eat a late lunch after this. No.
Oh. so cute looking out for her boyfriend and then kind of getting a boyfriend ah Poor baby, he definitely has a boner. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, you took out a wet boot because he was staring at some boobs. <laughs> No.
Yeah, it wasn't to be mean or anything. You okay with it being your name, though? Go on. There you go. You would. Ah, he got your bike. Gone. Girl, <laughs> See, all she thinks about is food. It's okay. I relate. I don't, I don't really think about food that much, but, you know, same. Oh. Ain't that funny.
Once again, they're they're fucking cute together. I I cannot with them. They're just like that chemistry that they have together. It's just top tier. Like oh my god. And it does make me wonder, like, how much more are we going with these two? Like, are they going to be together by the end of season two and such? Because they just look so cute together. I can't. They establish dominance and everything else. Like, oh my god. It's it's too much. Way, way too much. But, like, it, it seems like... Mm, Yamada, Yamada is, like, the cutest little airhead... Oh, she looks so pretty. Oh. Look at her. See? Hungry. Hungry bitch. Uh, me. Pretty, cute, and hungry. Me. <laughs> Love to freaking eat. She be that one always. Like, hey, where we eating that? I'm hungry. I want something to eat. Go get me something to eat. <laughs> I, I mean, because, like, look. Anytime when we saw her behind in the library, what was she doing? Eating. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, guys, just get you a girl who's hungry all the time. Mm -hmm. We, when we're hungry, we'll we'll tell you when we're hungry. Sometimes we even have attitudes and such. And then you take us out to eat, we do our little happy dance, because, you know, hey, we get some food, and when we get some food in our tummies, we are just, like, the most adorable things in the world. But, you know, hey, sometimes I want, like, but then at the, at the same time, like, I sometimes don't even know what the hell I want. Sometimes I want pizza. Sometimes I want Chinese. Sometimes I want, um, I haven't had sushi in a hot minute, like, since I was a teenager or a preteen. Sometimes I want a sandwich. Sometimes I want a wrap. Sometimes I want a really good burger. Um, sometimes I just want chicken. Any type of chicken. But I don't like chicken on the bone like that. Um, so that could be chicken tenders, chicken popcorn, chicken nuggets, um, a chicken sandwich. <laughs> Something. It just, when we're hungry and we just want food, like how, I, you know what, Let, let's talk about this debate. Because this has been a, a debate that's been, like, on everybody's minds for, like, probably a while now. You know the situation with the girl who got pissed at the guy who took her to the Cheesecake Factory as a date? Me, I don't care where you take me as long as I'm getting something to eat. If you take me to the Cheesecake Factory, that's a win in my book. That, it, that is still, to me, fine dining and stuff. I literally, last year, for, like, um, as, a, as a thing for my uh, job, we went to the Cheesecake Factory. Even though I was the only one who dressed up. I looked good that day. Yeah. <laughs> um, but still, went to the Cheesecake Factory. I, I got hella turned and stuff. But still, I will be mindful and stuff. So if you take me to the Cheesecake Factory on a first date, I will be happy. You take me to Chili's, I will be happy. You take me to um, uh, the BJ's Breweries, I will be happy. You take me anywhere where I get to eat, I will be happy. Just feed me. That's all. Get to know me. Hell, we can go on a fucking coffee date. I haven't gone to a Starbucks since in a hot behind minute, you know, due to the boycott and stuff because I'm trying to boycott and stuff. Same thing with McDonald's. I haven't been to a McDonald's. Well, no, the, the situation is now like I, I literally had Starbucks like for the first time in a while and now I'm back to the boycotting. Same thing with McDonald's because I was starving and I was in Walmart and my Walmart has a McDonald's and I was like, I'm getting McDonald's. So yeah, it's the first time. And honestly, having McDonald's after like what, three, four months, it, it don't hit. It really don't. And so I really just kind of want to cut McDonald's off like forever. McDonald's still has good fries though, but I still want to cut that ish off because it's just not as good. Like I can go to Burger King. I can go to Wendy's. I can go to Chick-fil-A. I can go to Checkers. American McDonald's just don't hit anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's my little tea of the day. <laughs> American McDonald's just does not hit. Now, if I ever go to Japan, I go to Japan McDonald's. I know that's going to hit. That's going to smack, and I cannot wait for that day. <laughs> Literally, my dinner is just going to be nothing but McDonald's in Japan. Oh, my God. That or the, the Wendy's First Kitchen, because, like, I, I've watched so many videos of people just going out to eat at um the Japanese Wendy's McDonald's the convenient or anything and I'm just like I need to go not only for like food but just you know the experience 
Yes. But, you yeah, know, like, dead ass. This is really wholesome and cute. I love them both together. I honestly am ready to see them go on an aquarium date. Because, you know, that is, like, my dream date. Besides that and the, um, the one place, uh, Senju Ohara and Agaragi-kun went in Monogatari, where it was, like, that one place where it was just lit up and stuff. I went to go there as well. Top tier dates. Top tier dates. Like, I just seen a boyfriend, though. Any takers, though. Who knows? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes one and two of The Dangers in My Heart. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the National Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes three and four. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.